Hey, this is Katie Samuel, your favorite snow farmer. Um, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. I want to talk about two things. Two things. And they're very, very important. They are very, very important. And they're, it's something I've been thinking about for some time now. Um, I just keep going like, oh, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. But then I keep getting a lot of calls and it's hovering around this. And I, I can't stand. You know, you know, I'm a blunt person. I like to be honest. So it's two things. Let me start from this one. So the first thing is trainings and this video is not an advertisement for you to come and visit me or, or come for trainings from me. You don't have to come to me for, for, for trainings. Now the thing is that, um, look, I've trained about 150 people in total so far in a couple of months and half of these people it was for free. Um, but I also want to say that I get close to about 20 calls a day and most of the people after speaking to you they don't really reach out again anymore because they think they have gotten enough information from the call i had with them because some people I, I i spend about one hour on the phone with them just discussing snail farming and so for them when they get that knowledge they feel that's it and they can run with it but it doesn't work like that you know just like in any industry you need to seek knowledge and sometimes it does not even end there you need to let somebody mentor you um, over the period um and my brothers in Nigeria are very great with this. When they reach out to you, they tell you, uh, Oga, I don't want just training, I want mentorship. Now, I'm saying all this because um, now the new thing is that, well, YouTube is good. You're able to learn a lot of things on YouTube, but sometimes you need to see the people who are into the business, ask them the things that happen because sometimes it's not everything that really happens you can put online. Another thing is that if you look at my videos on this YouTube account, you would realize that the video that I was talking about money has 7,000 views plus. Whereas the videos where I'm talking about how to make sure you scale up your productivity, those ones, some of them 200 views, 300 views. So, and people would usually call you just because they watched the video about, about money. but when it comes to the details of how to really farm snow successes, successfully, they are not really interested in it. People who have been following me for a while now do know that I'm into mango and cashew. And the thing is that I also have a mentor. I have somebody who is guiding me through the path to make, to, so that I can make sure I'm successful because I haven't gained full experience in mango farming yet. So um, for instance, an agronomist can tell you that oh this chemical is is good you can use that between this period and that and it's not coming from a bad place but sometimes the, the person on the field the person who has about a hundred hundred acre um, mango farm can tell you no please hold on to that maybe use just 20 percent of that and mix it with 80 percent of the other chemical and use it only at 6 p.m in the evening till this time you know that is that is where the the mentorship or the power or the benefits coming from mentorship really comes into play um look like for instance the the people that call me from nigeria they usually do not want um, just training they just want they want mentorship as well and i want to say that you do not even have to reach out to me alone there are other people in nigeria um there's a, another guy on youtube i think his name is gozi or govi i think it's gozi um he speaks some truth on his YouTube. You can you can you can subscribe to his channel, and this is not an ad advertisement for these people. You can subscribe to him and uh, to his channel, and then also listen to him. Or you can um, reach out to him in Nigeria, let him take you through some training. Um, and there's another guy, Kesta Emos, one outstanding guy, great 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 guy. He's actually one of my best, even though I disagree with him on a couple of things with regards to the greenhouse and how to even manage ants in the greenhouse. I did, I just disagreed with his video on that. Um, but these are some two guys you can reach out to. Please, trainings are very important and it does not end there. Socialize, get somebody you can reach out to when you have an issue in your snow farm so they can give you solutions in real time. They might be willing to visit and even see some of these things that are happening in your farm. The, new, the, the next thing is that 
some people only associate the issue with greenhouse with price that is too expensive can you imagine so um now i get a lot of calls from people who are building the greenhouse themselves and so instead of spending sixty thousand on a greenhouse now they want to reduce the cost of about forty thousand so then they buy the materials themselves and then they build it on their own you see i totally disagree with with the greenhousing system totally disagree but um look an example is that um these people can set up the greenhouse for you it can last for a while and then as time goes on the snails a lot all of them are going to die eventually that is the experience that i have but then um because you do not have experience there are certain things you you expose your snails to or there are certain mistakes you will make in the building of that housing system so for instance if the people who have been building it for a while now and because they have a lot of complaints coming from the people they have built these houses from um, build it for you let's say um, because of the little evolve that has happened in their thing they do um, maybe your snails can survive up to about let's say a year and a half but if you build it yourself you are looking at exposing the snails as early as possible let me give you an example like for instance because you have no experience you do not know that chlorine water can have an effect on the snails and kill them so you keep spraying um, chlorine water on top of the snails in your greenhouse because you did not um, speak to these people you know it's a very small knowledge but you see how you miss it and so i've met people who built their own greenhouses and then they use chlorine water and that has um, played a big role in killing a lot of their snails so it's very important that um, you speak to um, people who have been in the, in, in, in the industry for a while um, I, did, I, I disagree with the greenhouse but then I would prefer that you speak to the people who build it than building it yourself that's the honest truth I'll tell you um, yeah so I hope, I hope this makes sense it's very important and um, a lot of people are losing money because they, they think they can outsmart the system but it doesn't work like that anywhere um, this is why if you're getting employed in any company they want experienced people it's for that reason so the moment you try to, to cheat the system or you try to to jump the hurdle and just go straight into it without getting prior knowledge looking at the markets and everything look you've been making a big mistake and you'll be losing a lot of money in the end so please get this right subscribe to my youtube channel and then let's get to some more thank you bye